à tous de DDO, attention pour le décompte final. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top Allumage, premier étage, décollage. Trajectoire est normale. Boy, did she go up in a hurry? Did you see that? Vega lifting off like a streak from uh, the uh, pad here, unlike Ariane 5, which, which takes her time. The DDO is saying everything is normal up there. 137 tons at lift off. Ariane 5 weighs over six times that much. But these are pictures that are going to go around the world. The maiden voyage. Vega's first three stages rising rapidly. And boy, you saw that in five minutes. The first stage will separate in about 30 seconds. La propulsion du premier étage est normal. Propulsion is normal. The uh, second stage will separate in about three and a half minutes. The third stage ignites uh, shortly thereafter. And the third stage separates in about uh, just under six minutes. We're doing fine up there. Take a look at the uh, left-hand side of your screen. On the upper left, the cursor La crawling up the curve, normal. there are actually uh, two lines. There's the optimal étage. trajectory and the uh, real-time trajectory, as long as one is superimposed on the other, we're right Le where we should be. Calme. On the lower left, the two lines, A is the altitude, climbing up to uh, 57 kilometers, V, velocity, our speed, 174. There's a separation of the first stage, du deuxième étage. right on time, and the ignition of the second stage. First stage burned perfectly, jettisoned at about 61 kilometers up. The motor called the P80 FW. P80 produced in Colliferos near Rome. We'll have a film on that. Uh, La trajectoire est normale. Coming up, everything is fine on board. The uh, P-80, the first stage, has something new. The thrust vector control system is using electromechanical actuation for the first time ever on a launcher's first stage instead of a hydraulic system. The actuator is a bar that controls the first stage nozzle, nozzle orienting, orienting the thrust upon command from the computer, onboard computer, sort of like the steering wheel. The advantages is it's lighter, easier to integrate, and cheaper. A world first for a motor of that size. We're in the second stage burn. Weighs 25 tons, 23 are fuel. Both the Zephyro stages, the third and the second stage, produced by Avio. They're loaded with solid uh, propellant before being shipped here to the spaceport. Not very different than what's uh, done for Ariane 5. Both stages, based on a Zephyro solid propellant motors already developed Developed by, by Avio. There's the separation of the second stage. Our speed now 3.8 kilometers per second, as you can see on the left. We are right where we should be. Third stage, four meters long. It's Vega's smallest solid propellant motor, but it has the longest Allumage burn time. The longest burn time, over two minutes. Weighs 12 tons, 10 are fuel. We're approaching the fairing jettison. You'll see the two halves of the fairing, there they are, right on time, being uh, separated, revealing to the elements, the satellites. Fairing protects, of course, Separation the, de la coiffe. the payload from the shocks during Vega's ascent through the atmosphere, and once we leave the Earth's atmosphere, we don't need the fairing anymore. There's Laris, you see the ball with the uh, mirrors right in the middle. La trajectoire the, est normal. the black and blue box on the left is uh, Almasat, and the other CubeSats around it on the platform. Acquisition de la télémesure lanceur par la station navale Ariane. DDO has just called out. We've been picked up by our first downrange tracking station. That's on a boat out in the Atlantic. We'll have a film telling us all about the new facilities, including the new tracking stations that have uh, come to the base. 
because uh, of uh, Vega. Le pilotage est calme. See, we're burning the third stage, and on top of the third stage is the Avum. That's the uh, fourth stage. That's just under the fairing platform there. Altitude, 166. Speed, six and a quarter kilometers per second. We're coming upon separation of the uh, third stage. The uh, Vega base designed to handle four launches a year. Le pilotage est calme. Eventually. The Vega Launch Control Center, which you saw earlier in the same building that houses the Ariane 5 Control Center. Mission control is provided from the same Jupiter building where we are tonight. That's used for, our, for Ariane and uh, Soyuz launches. Everything functioning flawlessly on board the Vega as we're approaching third stage uh, separation. And we'll have ignition of the, of the Avum. The trajectory is normal, the speed is normal, the propulsion is normal. On this uh, maiden flight. And there's the separation of the third stage. It's done its job. There's the Avum. And there's the first ignition of the Avum. Our speed now, 7.7 .7 kilometers. We've almost, almost reached our maximum speed. This is the fourth stage, called the Avum which means attitude and vernier upper module. And when Davide gets back, he's going to tell us what that means exactly. But basically, a vernier referring to the precision required by the upper stage because the album is designed to deliver different payloads Tous les paramètres du quatrième étage sont into normaux. different orbits and to perform very fine satellite pointing before separating the satellites. The album's main mission begins Le at the end calme. of the solid propellant base, which you saw. It starts maneuvering to reach the target deployment normal. orbit. Everything is fine on board. The DDO calling out repeatedly, trajectory normal, propulsion normal, everything nominal is the word here. The album burning, you can see, carrying 626 kilos of propellant in her four tanks, powered by a restartable engine. We're going to have several burns. On this first flight, we're in the middle of the first one, which will last uh, until almost nine minutes, almost another two minutes to go. After that, we'll have a coasting phase for some time, which is also called a ballistics phase. Soyuz uses the same sort of procedure. And the second Avum burn it will come between plus 48 minutes and plus 52 minutes. And shortly after that, at plus 55 minutes, Laris will be separated. Then we'll have a third Avum burn at about an hour and nine minutes. And that lasts for about two minutes, roughly, with CubeSat and AlmaSat 1 separation. You can see the nozzles burning off and on on the Avum. This is her guidance system. She uses two clusters of uh, thrusters for roll and attitude control. They'll start to work during the ballistics phase. On board the Avum are all of Vega's avionics, which provide the flight control and the mission management, telemetry, flight termination, power supply, distribution, all of that. The Avum will reach a circular orbit at 1,450, 1,450 kilometers to release Solaris, then maneuvers to lower the perigee uh, to 350 kilometers before deploying the other payloads. This does not mean it'll deorbit directly when each mission is over. It'll be transferred into an orbit with a perigee low enough to ensure re-entry, and that's the case today. Coming up uh, on nine minutes, and uh, that will mark the end of the first Avum burn, and Davide has returned. Davide. How's the ambience down there in the fishbowl? <laughs> wow, <laughs> what a day. Well, uh, everybody's, uh, <laughs> everybody's still very focused because uh, it's still not the end of the mission, but uh, I just like to anticipate it with a great success. I was, struck really. by, I was struck by the fact that she took off and lifted just like a streak. Absolutely wonderful.